What's happening, everyone? James Lynch here doing a quick reaction video to the UFC 298 welterweight fight between Ian Machado Gary and Jeff Neal. If you haven't seen the fight, turn this video off. It was Ian Machado Gary getting a decision victory over Jeff Neal. I'm not totally surprised with this. Yes, I did pick Jeff Neal going into this fight, but uh, Gary winning the decision was kind of likely how I saw this going because Jeff Neal's never been knocked out in the UFC. He's only had the one submission loss to Shavkat. Uh, this wasn't a very good fight, I'll be honest. And and it's not because, uh, you know, Ian Gary won the fight. Credit to him. He had a good game plan. He used his range, his height and reach very well in this fight. Uh, kept landing those knees up the middle. It was pretty obvious Jeff Neal was not going to get in, in the inside too much. He did land a few good shots early on, but it was just a lot of, you know, trying to walk Ian Gary down, try and land that big shot. It just never came. And when they did get against the fence, Gary would clinch, not do a whole lot. Um, this just wasn't that much of an action-packed fight. It was kind of like Neil would go in and try and do a flurry. Ian Gary would counter with the knee up the middle, hit Jeff Neal. It was kind of this back and forth. I thought rounds one and rounds two were really close. I think round three was clearly Ian Gary. Um, but those first two rounds, I think, could have gone either way. Honestly, it was very uh, interesting to see how people scored this. Even one judge gave it to Jeff Neal in this fight, 29-28. I could see that argument with him giving you know round one and round two to him. Round three, like I said, clearly was Ian Gary's. I think it was a very much a missed opportunity here for Jeff Neal. But you got to give Ian Gary credit. You know, Again, it wasn't the prettiest fight, but remains undefeated. Fought a guy who does have knockout power in Jeff Neal and, and gets it done. Gary calls out Colby Covington. I think that's the perfect move here for him. Uh, it's just a pair of guys that I think just aren't that popular right now. I don't know how that's going to be received by everyone. Colby coming off an awful performance at UFC 296. You've got uh, Ian Gary now, uh, you know, coming off this performance where, you know, didn't exactly win any fans. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens there. But like I said, for Jeff Neal, just another missed opportunity. You know, you think back to a couple of years ago when he beat Bilal Muhammad and, you know, had all that momentum and then he had the health issues. It's kind of been up and down ever since. Other than that one fight with Vicente Luque, it's been, uh, you know, a little bit interesting here for Jeff Neal. So I don't really know where he goes from here. He's 33. This is, again, an opportunity for him to get in the contender spot that he missed out on. And Gary now takes that spot and he'll probably end up getting Colby. We'll see what the UFC decides to do, but I think that's pretty obvious here. Or maybe you do something like Gil Gilbert Burns and Jack Della Maddalena winner fights Ian Gary next too. You could do that as well, but there's a lot of options here for Ian Gary, but look, I'll give him his credit here. Good game plan against Jeff Neal. Jeff does have knockout power. That's something I'm sure he was very much aware of in this fight, having been dropped in other fights and uh, he got it done. So Ian Gary winning by decision, getting it done at UFC 298. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. What did you think of the performance and how did you score the fight? Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram at Lynch on sports. I'm James Lynch. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.